What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody had a great weekend and a good Monday. Today is the 17th of May. It is Tuesday. Um, we're looking at some stock market info. We'll check out some crypto info. We're going to look at some market sentiment as well as my Amazon store and my Red Bubble store. Share that with you guys if you are not yet familiar. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and take a chance to do that. A lot of the subs, uh, a lot of the viewers, excuse me, not yet subscribed to the channel. A pretty large percentage, actually. So helps grow the channel. Thank you in advance. So kick this video off. We're going to look at the Crypto Fear and Greed Index sitting at an eight extreme extreme fear this actually might be the lowest fear levels we have seen for this index so let's see we are sitting at an eight as of today obviously this will probably change this evening let's go to the map let's go to one year so it looks like we are at the lowest fear levels in one year think over here was looks like a 10 let's go to max looks like back in 2019 we were lower I don't think we'll be able to get a reading down here with the way this chart works we are at very very low levels it says an 11 but I don't think that's that's obviously not accurate so Extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That could be a buying opportunity. Very important words right there. Buying opportunity. You will not see this sit in this fear levels for very long. Usually bottoms happen quickly and tops happen over time. Typically bottoms are more of a V bottom and tops usually take a little bit of time to top out. So keep that in the back of your mind. If you are thinking about getting into some long positions in the crypto markets, this indicator is telling you now is your time. Not financial advice, of course. So let's check out these a similar uh, market sentiment indicator, but using the stock market. So this is the CNN Fear and Greed Index. We are sitting in extreme fear they actually changed the way this graph looks here um if that's what you want to call it this data tool um sitting in extreme fear also similar you can see one week ago we were sitting at a 10 a little bit lower i recall seeing this down in the eights i think that's the lowest i've seen this indicator go maybe a six um there should be some historical data as well um, let's see here, maybe not. But same concept, when you are pinned on the extreme fear side of this chart, it is a good time to buy and then vice versa. When you're sitting on the right hand side of the chart, perhaps time to take a little profits off the table. Although tops are a little bit harder to spot than bottoms. So it's a contrarian indicator. So if you are willing to step up to the plate when others are perhaps fearful and then both in the stock market and the crypto market is now is your time to shine there. So that is that CNN fear and greed index and then the crypto fear and greed index. It, it tells you um, why measure fear and greed Tells you all the data sources, how they gather this info. Just remember, look at where we're at right now. So let's jump over to the E-mini S&P futures. So I had mentioned down in here a couple days back last week. This looked like the bottom. Judging by one, market sentiment, and two, um, the candle body so far that bottom is holding will it hold that is the big question i had mentioned that we are very close to a market bottom of some sort with the way and the condition that market sentiment is in 
Um, luckily, we were able to accumulate stocks down in this area on the day of the lows, and we continue to hold those um, that position that is is posted on our Patreon um, where we entered and then how we um, continue to hold moving forward. So if that's something you are interested in, that is posted on the Patreon group only. So the E-mini S&Ps had a little bit of a mixed Monday, couldn't quite get out of their way after the weekend. Basically closed, uh, looks like we closed down 15. We were up, we were down, we were flat, and then basically closed down 15. Today, we continue to move higher as we should for now. Up 50, 53 and a half handles on the S&Ps. Um, looks like we could find a little bit of resistance up here at the, what is this low here? So this low is 40.94. So potential resistance up there at the 40.94 level. Um, time will tell. But like I said, when market sentiment is in such a good position that we haven't seen in years, you can expect a big, big rally or some sort of bottom to come in place. And that is the times we are in right now. And that is how it looked over here on the 12th of May. So I just wanted to share that, that the S&P futures right now up 53 um, continue to rise as they should, as we thought they would over the coming days and weeks as we think a bottom is um, in, if not taking place right now let's check out um let's check out the spy which goes along with <clears throat> the s p futures so similar chart as you can tell um the bottom candle looks a little bit different on the 12th of may but we do continue to rise like i said yesterday was a little bit of a mixed bag of tricks here up down basically closed flat yesterday. Um, looks like they closed down $1.63. But if you are long from down in here, from these levels, um, then you should not be too worried. Where we are sitting at right now, especially if you are keeping an eye on the market sentiment. Of course, the bottom could still be taking place here. We could get a sharp pullback. We could come back and test the lows, but like I said, when market sentiment is in such a good place, we are very close to a market bottom of some sort. So we do expect much, much, much higher prices here for the SPY and the stock market. Will it be a straight line up? Probably not. It could be very strong, of course, but probably get up to something like that and then you'll get a higher low. And then perhaps another higher high. We will see how we chop uh, chop out of here or head up straight like a rocket. But we do expect and do think a market bottom is taking place right in front of us. Great opportunity right now, we think, to be long the market indices and stocks. So let's jump over to some cryptocurrency. That's my thoughts on the stock market. I am bullish. Let's go to um, check out some Casper. See what's going on here. Casper looks like we're up 3.7% today. Early this morning here, uh, quarter to five in the morning on the East Coast, 4.45 a.m. So Casper moving up a little bit off the bottoms. Looks like a lot of the different assets found some sorts of bottom on the similar time frame. And that was the 12th of May. A lot of cryptos, a lot of stocks found their bottom for now on that date. And we do continue to move higher here. Casper, definitely not moving up as fast as um, other projects, but long term, very, very bullish on this project. Taking a zoom out, putting it on the log scale. Uh, I believe the low actually was exactly three cents, if I'm correct. So the exact low on Casper was three cents, which also correlates with 
a little over a year ago now on the 11th of May and 21. That was also three cents. So far, we have double bottomed. We will see if that gets tested once again or if this thing starts to gain some steam and head higher. Like I said, long term, we are very bullish on Casper and the Casper project, but not too, too much to talk about here on the chart as this thing kind of figures out what it's ready to do next. A little bit of resistance coming into play up here. So that low um, was 509. So we can expect the price to find a little bit of resistance up there at the 509 level. And then up, once again, up in here, this is the little bit higher, the five and a half cent range. Um, just something to keep your eye on moving forward here. We were able to get into some, uh, to some more Casper that is down in these levels at different prices. Um, we are long from a, a lot of different prices for Casper. And that is that. Not too, too much to talk about here as this thing tries to figure out what it wants to do. Of course, this could be nothing but a rising wedge and then it could break lower. Um, definitely has a little bit of a bearish look to it now, but it's also following what the stock market is doing. So we will see if this goes like this and then we get a very, very strong spike up. Would not be surprised to see that if markets are going to continue higher. So that is my thoughts on Casper. Really not too much to discuss here. Um, besides, we put in a double bottom, which was nice at the three cent level. And then we do have some something to look forward to here, which is some resistance up there at the 509, perhaps up here at the five and a cent, five and a half cent range. And then we obviously have a lot of price noise up in here. What would be nice to see? It would be nice to see Casper skyrocket up like this, maybe consolidate it a bit, pull back, and then get us up into here, some price discovery. Will that happen? You let me know down in the video comments. <clears throat> Either way, very bullish on this project long term, and we continue to hold on the long side. We have a lot of Casper, at least for, at least in our standards, um, not financial advice. Um, feel free to let me know how much Casper you hold. Um, I find it very interesting that people hold quite a bit of this stuff. Um, feel free if you want to share. If not, of course, I understand. Let's check out some XRP. Actually, if you don't want to let me know how many shares you have, let me know the prices you are long from. Like I said, we were able to get some down in here at the, so far anyways, all-time lows. Let's check out some XRP. So XRP like the rest of the markets, is going to look similar because it is following basically Bitcoin and basically um, what the stock market is doing. So far, um, finding some support from over in this area, a lot of trading, um, price action in and around this, basically 32, you could call it up into here, 60 cent range. Let's see here. So had that waterfall move. And like Casper and the S&Ps, um, the 12th of May was the bottom for now. Do we see something like this take place? A very strong candle to the upside. That's the question. If the stock market's going to continue higher, we do expect XRP as well as Casper to move to the upside. A little bit of resistance up in here for the price, basically up in this 60 cent range. Um, that is quite a bit higher than we are now, but hey, it can happen pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Also right here, uh, this 52 cent range will be a potential another area of price resistance. So. Mid 50s, 60s, a potential overhead resistance level for Casper or for XRP, excuse me. So let's see, we were able to get into a little bit more, um, basically top off our XRP holdings on this move down. 
dollar cost averaging into this project. Held this for a couple of years now. Not financial advice. Do expect much higher prices here for XRP as well. Was nice to see this thing basically find some support from back over in here. Just waiting for that next leg up to continue this bull run here. Got to have patience, it seems like here. All right, let's jump into some Bitcoin. What's going on here? Bitcoin, like the rest of the markets, looks very similar. Definitely like the way this candle looks here on the 12th of May. Nice, nice, unchanged bottom looking candle. Just waiting for that next leg to the upside here. Take us to some um, more recent higher highs, basically above that 30, let's see what we got here, 32, 500 level or so up into here. That'll definitely pull some weight for the other cryptos. That'll definitely help <clears throat> help Casper and help Bitcoin and uh, not help Bitcoin, help XRP out, getting them back up in higher prices. So that is my thoughts on Bitcoin. Nothing too crazy. Don't really follow Bitcoin that much. Looks like we're trying to find some support back in here, which looks like a pretty important area. We traded below it, had a big candle wick below it, and now we're trying to get back above it. Support and resistance. So that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Stock market looks to be in good shape. Let's check out the S&P futures once again. We're up 62 now. Things look pretty good right there. You can see we're getting that next move higher on the S&Ps. So we expect a similar thing to uh, make its way over into Bitcoin. So we would expect Bitcoin to be up in here very, very soon. SPY should have another nice day seeing its price up quite a bit, uh, definitely a couple dollars. Um, and like I said, that should carry over into projects like like Casper and XRP, XRP. So we will see, like I said, go back and watch um, why I think the market has bottomed video posted a couple days back. Uh, I will show you some of the different market sentiment stuff uh, looking back um, quite a bit a couple years ago and then even further and we will see what happens here sell in may and go away is the old saying um, i haven't really seen that take place for for a while now although if you sold before may this year it would have worked out but it looks like we're actually getting back into the markets here for the summer months. Pretty, pretty interesting. Definitely a good reason to keep an eye on market sentiment. Go back, go ahead and check out that video. So over here to the Amazon store I had mentioned. So I have a March by Amazon store, bunchy, uh, bunch of investing related t-shirts. Futures trader, buy the dip, micro futures trade stocks. Um, bunch of cool shirts on here. Go ahead and check that out if that's something you are interested in. Link in the video description. Have some Ripple shirts down here. Wall Street, follow the trend. Pretty cool Wall Street shirt. XRP shirt. Um, futures, investors. Check them out. Does help support the channel. Greatly appreciate anybody um, who is willing to go ahead and check that out. Also have some other merch over here on red bubble some stickers some drink coasters t-shirts notebooks and stuff like that so thank you in advance for anybody who will go ahead and check that out casper up four and a half percent today let's get this thing up into the double digit percents what do you say sounds good to me so all right guys Thanks once again for watching this video. Let me know, as always, your thoughts down in the video description, whether you agree with me or whether you don't. Everybody has room in the comments to share their opinion. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Definitely helps a lot of the viewers, like I said, not yet subscribed. 
and I will catch you guys in the next video. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good Tuesday for the market in the green. Um, got many hours to go. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, take care.